No, I thought they were better. better. They were better. Ooh, they were better. They were better. Ooh. Clearly. Wow. Definitively Ooh, getting better. at you. Getting <laughs> at you. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all, I ain't saying that y'all ain't gonna like certain things at other spots a little bit better than the Salt Lake, but as an overall experience, meat for me, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be there. What's going on everybody? We're here at the Dallas airport in Texas and you know barbecue is world famous in Texas so we had to come here and before our flight try all of the most famous smokehouses here at the Dallas airport. Yo, our first spot is the Salt Lake. And Jack, you were trying to get us to go here. Yeah, I was trying to get these guys to come. We were in Austin, it was like uh, raining, it was kind of cold. cold. I heard Salt Lake's really good though, so uh, I'm really glad they got it at the airport. I'm, I'm glad this is too. our do, first time trying do it. Do you think that the airport location would live up to, obviously, you know, Ooh. it's difficult to say, right? It can't be too far off. Well, they don't want to compromise the brand. Guys, Terminal A, Salt Lake, let's get it. All right, so we got our barbecue plates. David, tell the people what we have. We got the pork ribs, we've got the sausage, we've got the brisket, and the pulled pork. Ooh, and then some seasoned fries. You have the coleslaw and potato salad. Potato. You guys, we are in Texas. We've got to start with the brisket. Let's go. Do it. And I will say this, the service at Salt Lake was amazing. They were very, very nice. Jack, you were getting fed? I was getting fed. All right, guys, this is brisket at Salt Lake. Ooh, look, ooh. Wow, no, that was, pretty good. I mean, generally you think the chains at the airport, they're not gonna do as good of a job. And obviously I don't know how it tastes at Salt Lake in Austin, but Fire. it was amazing. Yeah, pork pork ribs. ribs. The flavor is really good. Wow. Yeah. If you can tell by the amount of sauce on my face, it's good. It's really smoky, very sweet. I like that aspect. Man, how good. I think about the airports is they could keep the sauce the same as the actual Salt Lake in Austin, but cooking it is always gonna be different because it is an airport. Sausage. I like the skin, the exterior. Yeah, I w it was very juicy, very fatty on the inside. I could see when I was biting into the sausage, it was kind of like melting my mouth. I wouldn't say it blew me That away. was more similar to a Polish sausage. I felt like a Mikoweight, that was more of that Czech, like grainy uh, sausage. Pulled, pulled pork. pork. Mm, wow. It looked dry. dry. That was surprising. You know what it is? They don't call it the salt lick for no reason because the salt and pepper flavor is really pronounced yeah. on everything. All right, baked beans. Wow. No barbecue flavor, just straight elementary school cafeteria beans. I think it's gonna be tough to beat the salt lick on the flavoring. I, I give this salt lick a four out of five. I what, what, was your, what was your guys' favorite? Most surprising was definitely the pulled pork. Obviously, I knew the brisket was gonna be yeah. pretty good. I knew the ribs were gonna be pretty, pretty good. good. But the pulled pork? <laughs> yeah. Brisket is my favorite by far. A little curveball, the pepper flavor. Because yeah. their brother really was on everything. Yeah. Before I had barbecue, I asked Texans what makes good barbecue, and they say the whole experience is not just the ribs, not just the brisket, but the, the corn, the french fries, the beans, like it has to all fit well together. Okay. So I would rate this a four out of five. I, I gotta leave a little bit of room for improvement, but I was pretty impressed. I'm gonna give this a 4.5 out of five. David, do you wanna throw in a, a bit of a Texan accent to- Okay, uh, I'm just telling y'all, I ain't saying that y'all ain't gonna like certain things at other spots a little bit better than the Salt Lake. But as an overall experience, meat for me, <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be there. David, our next spot is Terminal B. It's called Cousins Barbecue. Let's go. All right, you guys, we have boarded the DFW Skylink to Terminal B, where there's more BBQ. <laughs> All right, you guys, we've arrived at spot number two, Terminal B, Cousins BBQ. You guys, this is local to Fort Worth. Yo, they do it a little different here. They're serving it cafeteria style. All right, all right. Let's check it out. Cousins barbecue plate, we got four meats. Usually they only give you three, but we had to get an extra quarter pound. Pork ribs, brisket, jalapeno cheese sausage, pulled pork, mac and cheese, and then the broccoli cheesy rice. So you know what's funny is growing up in Kent, we had this thing at school, at the school lunch, 
called cheesy rice, and I had no idea why they were eating that. Because I was no. like, how are you gonna serve cheesy rice at an American school? Because I'm eating rice at home. And everybody would make fun of the kids who wanted seconds on the cheesy rice. Right, maybe cheesy rice is a Texas thing. All right, guys, we got no, just go in, man. Go on, oh, that brisket looks incredible, actually. They said they never freeze their meats. It's all natural. I said, is it any good? He goes, it's a Texas-style barbecue. Okay. You know, we've been doing it for 35 years now. 36 years. I like that answer. This is the brisket at Cousins. Oh, wow. It tastes different. It was really good, but it tasted a little bit too much like corned beef, in my opinion. It was almost charred to the point where it was like a little bit bitter. A little bit too fatty for me. If you're really in a fatty brisket, I think you would prefer the one yeah. here at Cousins. Here we have the pork rib. I'm really excited about this one. Let's see how that pulls off the bone. Ah, not bad. Pork, pork ribs. Rib. I can tell the meat quality is really high. Really, really easy to eat yeah. with a bone. And it got the job done. The jalapeno cheddar sausage. I asked the guy when I was ordering, I was like, yo, which sausage should I get? The German one or the jalapeno? Jalapeno, jalapeno. he interrupted me right away. Jalapeno cheddar sausage. That's cheesy as hell. It tastes a little bit like you got it from the store, so I'm not yeah, like yeah, impressed yeah. by you it, you know? You microwave it, yeah. you microwave it. It's getting with pulled pork. So salt licks were shredded up into smaller pieces and it like melted in my mouth. This one, I get more of the pork feel. Almost like a, like a carnitas. Mac and cheese. The macaroni's a little soft. It kind of tastes like kind of a Stouffer's type deal. Not bad, but not in love with that. Yo, we had to get the broccoli and cheesy oh rice. Oh my gosh. I haven't had cheesy rice since elementary. Oh. Let's get it. Never. It's nostalgic for me. <laughs> I never had cheesy rice before, but it's not bad. All right, Jack, you were talking about peach cobbler peach on the way here. Favorite dessert Dude, this of peach all cobbler time. is busting out of the shell. Ooh, you, feel the, you see the crunch? I just remember that one scene from Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. Peach cobbler. Cheers. That's good. Uh, no, I got it going for a second bite. For a second one, too. My you know. goodness. Banana pudding. I give the desserts here at Cousins a five out of five. Yeah. <laughs> this is my major takeaway, is I thought all the meats were really high quality, like the way it was never frozen. What was you guys' favorite? Oh, me? It had to be this. Oh, the desserts was crazy. Okay. I actually kind of like the broccoli cheesy rice. <laughs> okay. Okay, y'all saying every, everything but the meat? I have to actually give it to the brisket. Even though I said it kind of tasted like corned beef, I actually really like corned beef. That's not a bad thing. Which well, I give it a three out of five. I'm a 2.5 out of five. I would've given it a two if it wasn't for this dessert. Damn, y'all were harsh. I was gonna give it a 3.5 out of 5. Wow. Now we are headed to gate E for our last two barbecue spots. Let's see if any of them can top Salt Lake. All right, so we've made it to Terminal E for Sonny Brian Smokehouse. This spot was actually started in 1910. I read that from the sign, but it is actually from the Dallas, Texas, Fort Worth area. So this is like a local chain. I think the prices are like a little bit cheaper than hey, the other ones. we are ones. in Terminal E. I mean, yeah. it's yeah. where they fly spirit. But I'm not gonna lie, Salt Lake was pretty expensive and it's progressively gotten a little cheaper. So I think we have to take that into consideration. Take it into consideration. We have the same plate as we've always been getting. We have four meats. We have the sliced brisket, we have the pulled pork, we have the pork sausage, and then we have the pork ribs here. The beans, mac and cheese, and the special dessert at the end. Uh, you guys, it was $16.25. Obviously, what, six, seven dollars cheaper? It, it was cheaper, but it does look like less food. So it kind of evens out. Brisket, 1910. <laughs> it, it, it kind of tastes how you imagine it would taste, honestly, at a gas station. <laughs> Let's just move on. Um, let's do the pork rib. Let's see the pull test. Pull test is nice. Pork rib. <laughs> That's a boiled rib, by the way. It was soft, easy to eat. It had like a light little pepper flavor to it. This actually looks pretty good. Juicy, oh not dry at all. Cut up in uh, nice small pieces, so pulled pork. It kind of tastes like the inside of a chashu bao. It does. A little Without bit. The... Yeah, you're talking about the sweet pork flavor. Yeah. I guess extra points for that. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> pork sausage, guys. Ooh, I like that better than Cousins jalapeno cheddar one. Easily. Yeah. This one actually, the sausage, think about, I like it the sausage is think, shining. I'm actually trying to think if I like it better. Than Salt Lake? Yeah, I might. It was juicier than Salt You know Salt what, Lake. I do. Wow. Ooh. Mac and cheese and beans. Go. Cousins mac and cheese was really bad. But this wasn't that great either. It yeah. wasn't that great, <laughs> but I like the firmness of the macaroni. Yeah, better. the other one tastes like mush. Or like tofu. Yeah. Beans, nah. How you would imagine out the can? 
No bueno. Okay, the question is now for dessert. Oh yeah. We have peach cobbler a la mode. So it's like kind of warm, melting the ice cream. Obviously, I would say cousins set the bar pretty high for peach cobbler. So Ooh. these pe these slices of peaches are way bigger too. Yeah. Not bad. It's no cousins, but I feel like I can make this. Overall, I give Sunny Bryant a two out of five. I give it a 2.5 out of 5. I think I'm at a 1. Uh, I get why I've never heard of this place, but... By far, this definitely is ranking number 3 out of 3. On to the 4th spot. Oh. Alright, you guys, we have arrived at the big dog. Dickies is the biggest American barbecue chain in the entire world. We're here right now. This is our fourth spot. We gotta see where it ranks compared to everything else at the airport. Since 1941, let's check it out. This is what allowed Dickies to grow from one store to Five. 500. We have uh, two three meat plates here. We have the brisket, we have the pork rib, we have the pulled pork, we have a Polish sausage, we have the jalapeno cheddar sausage that we're gonna compare to Cousins, and then you have the smoked turkey. I'm just saying that they gotta beat Sonny Bryant's. They better beat All right, Sonny guys, Bryant's. basically, uh, I will say right off the bat, this is a crumbly brisket. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's not the floppy brisket that's sticking together. Oh, Ooh. that's tough. Really lean, really dry. The flavor wasn't bad, but it wasn't that flavorful. Probably ranks number three, just only ahead of Sunny Bryant. All right. Right off the phone. Yeah. It looks like it kind of came from a like a mid-tier steakhouse. Hold on, look at this. This is this looks good. I'm actually excited about this bite. Pork rib here at Dickies. Really soft. Really just disintegrates my mouth. I would say flavor-wise, maybe not as flavorful as I would have liked, but texture-wise, I loved yeah. it. We moving on, guys. We got pulled pork. Visually, I'd say it looks it pretty good. Right. I really like the texture, but the flavor wasn't crazy. You couldn't really sense what was Texas BBQ about it. Yeah. Like if you would have just got that pork at like a Cuban spot, uh, one of those Sophie's Cuban. It would have been good. Dickie's sausage. I like that better than cousin. Tell me uh, that's not better than cousin. It's better. I would say that tastes like an Oboyo Berto beef stick. Now this Polish sausage is gonna be compared to the Sunny Brian. Sunny Brian sausage. I liked it. Sausage is good. I don't know, man. Dickie's is Kind of surprised me today. You, huh? All right, guys, this is a smoked turkey. I'm excited about this one. How do you guys compare it to the barbecue we had at the Houston Rockets game? I mean, that, that turkey was good. The Houston Rockets barbecue, <laughs> that turkey was yeah. so juicy. This is actually not bad. It's good. It's mac and cheese. Mm. I like this one, actually. Really? Yeah, the texture was better, but the flavor of the cheese was. All right, beans. Not better than Cousins, though. Not better than Cousins. We got the waffle fries. We got the waffle fries. It's a little pepper. Well, these are fresh out of the fryer, so they're really good. Mm. Wow. I like it. Some All right, guys, pecan pie. Oh, that was so sweet. I'd say that was pretty good. It's damn good, damn. All right, you guys, real quick, what's the ranking of desserts that we have? This is number two. The peach cobbler and the banana cream is number one. And uh, Sonny Brian is... All right, you guys, we have to assign a rating to Dickies. I give it a three out of five. Mm. I feel like it really deserves a 3.5 out of five for me, which is the same score that I gave Cousins. Well, I'm with you, Andrew. I'm a 3.5. Okay. I'm a little disappointed by the brisket, right? but everything else was on point. I'll give you this. The decor at Cousins is better than Dickies. Where does it rank in order from the best barbecue at the DFW airport oh, yeah. to the worst barbecue. All right, DFW obviously airport. we gotta go Salt Lake. Salt Lake. If you have time and you're even in a different terminal, take the Skylink train to Terminal A to get Salt Lake. It's actually worth it. That's tough between yeah, Dickies and Cousins. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna say Cousins to yeah. because okay. you can find Dickies, you know, anywhere. all anywhere. I do think they talked a big game that maybe big game. that maybe fell short a little yeah. bit. But at the end of the day, yeah. it was close. But then yeah. Dickies third, and then obviously way coming in. Yeah, Sonny Brian. Maybe. No, I agree. I agree. I would put Cousins a little bit over Dickies. Just overall, the vibe was better. Um, I think they had more options there. They had the pepper sauce on the table. What did you guys like take away from trying four barbecue spots in a row? Because I know for myself, being from Seattle and then living in LA, barbecue is not a priority. I, I guess you kind of compare it to like Chinese food, right? Like you have some Chinese food made for a certain demographic and then you had Chinese food made for a higher demographic. The way they kind of talk about it and argue about it, it's it's almost like our parents would argue over which spot had the best Peking duck yeah. or, yeah, or chasu. Steamed yeah. crabs. Yes. I want to ask you guys, 
are you surprised by the desserts at the barbecue chains? Dude, I will tell you this, man. I don't know how much butter and sugar they pack into those things, but those are delicious. Save some room for dessert, man. Get for real. The dessert. Like, it creates I, the whole experience. I, obviously, this video was about barbecue in the airport. We tried four different levels. You guys decide what's right for you, but I do want to end this since this was our last video in Texas. Yeah. Your favorite and your least favorite thing you had on the whole trip. Ooh. Well, least favorite, I already know what it is. Sonny Brian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just ate it. All right. I was not really a big fan of Torchy's Tacos. Oh, I was gonna say something from um, that first concession stands at NRG Stadium. Oh, at the oh, Texas oh, game, okay. Some of that hot dog. Yeah, and then I would say the best thing that I ate, the uh, bone marrow for $4.95 at $4.54. Oh, thinking of Nam Gao, there's two dishes that I'm really thinking about right now. It was one, the small crispy pancake, which was essentially the smaller <laughs> version of the bun sale, and then the pork and shrimp crystal dumpling. For me, I would say my favorite is we had the in the Texans game, Killins. Brisket, the, the brisket. Oh my god, I still remember that brisket. Number two would be that Chinese Vietnamese restaurant we went to. Vin Hoa. Vin Hoa. Oh, that rice. You were going in oh, on the crab rice. Man, that rice was okay. just hitting the spot. What was the most overrated thing? You thought that you, when you tried it, you're like, that was cool, but it wasn't all what people said it was. The fries that hopped out of here. Yeah. I do not yeah, like those fries. Yeah, I told they you. Came they, cold right. to, they came cold. They came cold. Say they didn't come cold in the middle. The metal's cold, so the metal even ate more heat away. That's my opinion, man. I, I kind of understand. It was a little cold. They could have heated <laughs> because it Because we, we had the Parmesan fries at uh, Chop House, and I thought they were better. better. They were better. Ooh, they were better. They were better. Ooh. Clearly. Wow. Definitively. You're getting better. at you. You're getting <laughs> at you. You're getting <laughs> no, at you. No, no, half you of your heart is hot <laughs> dotty. Just take, <laughs> just, hop dotty. just take the knife out of my back, I David. Swear, the, take it out. The next tattoo you get is oh, hot dotty. Just right across the forehead. Right? <laughs> no, okay. I, I appreciate the, the realness. The fries at hop dotty. fries at hop dotty. Okay. Four cheese, I didn't know what to do with that i i just didn't like any of the flavors i like the egg for the breakfast taco but that was about it i i just think it was super overrated i don't know if it was the timing but mickle weight i had heard so much about it man uh, now it could have been because it was cold the people at mickle weight are so nice yeah it just didn't quite meet the expectation jack what's, what's your most overrated it's gonna be mickle weight because I, I, the torchy tacos, I, I would eat it. I get it's not like super fancy. It's not like trashy tacos. <laughs> there was a lot of macros in it, a lot of protein, <laughs> a lot of egg. That's an excellent thing. Oh, yo, it's six in my macros. It's like $6 <laughs> for all that, all that egg. We just had a lot of good food in Texas, man. Yeah, I think people don't expect there to be such good Asian food in Texas. Yeah, they really don't. Point. Now, did we eat the best Korean food in Texas? No. Was it the best Chinese food? No. But Southeast Asian food in Texas, I think, is really, really good. All right, All right guys. you guys, thank you so much for watching our travels through Texas from Houston to Austin to Dallas. Now it's time to go home. I think I'm going to talk to people more. Yeah. I don't know if it'll work. What do you mean? In LA? Yeah. I mean, if enough people burn me, then I'll uh, yeah, then retreat to my die. shell. <laughs> yeah. Until it wears off. We're bringing that Texas yeah. friendliness back. We were us. saying that we ran into not as many people in Texas, but we spoke to more people when we were here. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you let us know what you thought of the whole trip in the comment section below. Along with everything else, just give it a like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. And until next time, we're out. Peace. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Just want to let you know we do have a brand new podcast called the A3N Podcast. We're talking about all types of stuff. We're gonna have all types of guests on the show. Obviously, if it's me and David, we're gonna get really deep and personal and real. Also, we have a highlights channel. If you guys don't wanna to listen to the whole entire podcast, there's gonna be like the highlight clips there that you guys can just check out. Check out the podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Himalaya, A3M Podcast. Leave us a review and a like. And listen to it. Peace. Peace.